Hello everybody and welcome back for another game we need to try together. Today we are going for Sworn. And this is kind of like exclusive thing because it's available just this weekend, 23rd and 24th of uh, of March. And you can play it yourself. If you would love to check your uh, this game yourself, you can wishlist it on, on on Steam, of course. And you can follow the, uh, the link in the description and that will just allow you to get a copy for yourself. And you can try it yourself this weekend. So uh, I will jump into the game it's an action roguelike uh, game it's a, similar to Hades and similar of those those games that you will go through the rooms and you will defeat enemies and you will need to get better so uh, let's go jump into it I'm super excited to check uh, to like find out if it's any good and yeah Let's jump right into that. So let's go play game. And one more thing that I, I forgot to mention is it's actually a co-op. So you can play up to four people. So that's that's exciting. But today I will be playing solo. So let's go check it out for solo. But uh, yeah. Oh, that is a cinematic. Vendral Forest. 50 years after Arthur something deceased. Oh, look at that. All right, press space to dash. So space is a dash. I will be playing on the keyboard. I don't know. I think it might be better on, on control as a Hades is. But today I will be playing on the keyboard just to try it out if it's if it's viable. Okay, so there are the doors mechanic um, similar to this. And we will need to go this way. Uh, I don't know what we will get. There is some kind of flag. Hopefully it's a good boon that will help me win the game. All right. Okay, dash is important, and there was a mechanic that uh, we need to dodge the battle, and it killed him. All right, I, I'm okay with that. Oh no, I thought, yeah, we need to get out of there, but that was too late. So we are dying already. Uh, let's go press E to interact. What do we have? We got the red and purple. What, what that is? Oh, accept it, Tanya, Queen of the Fae, or we can go accept Bard, Dark Omen. Let's go Queen of the Fae. All right, let's go to Tanya. Oh, that's a looking good. That's art is beautiful. Okay. The Tanya Queen of Fae. Cleanse corruption. Light your enemies ablaze. So it's like focus on the flaming abilities. So we got all three are common and we can go burning touch on the on the um, here. You can see uh, that we will be able to uh, alternate our attack. So this is for the light attack. That's on our left click button. Cre greatly increase attack damage. Every 8 seconds your light attacks will ignite. That's that's okay. Or we can go for right click, burning strike. Every 8 seconds your heavy attack will ignite. Or we can go with every 6 seconds your dash will emulate. I will go with this uh, because I'm, I will be using the left click the most often. I feel uh, that's how it is. Oh, there are um, pots with money and you can see them uh, immediately. What is this? Is it like healing ability or a healing room? We will see. We will see. Hopefully we will survive to see the other day. Okay, so that was uh, my heavy attack. The the Oh, there are traps. Okay, I need to be... Oh, la, la, la. <laughs> you wanted to hit me. I will hit you. Okay, let's go for a heavy. Good. Haha. <laughs> Dodge. And we can kill him. What is this? So, uh, plus 10 something. I don't know. Uh, it's 10 of something good, I, I feel. And we are going for another one. Those are money or... I don't know. We need to figure out what exactly we are getting from that. But that's the experience of one itself. So, oh, nice. We killed him good. And he got a, like, yes, launcher on his, on his back. Not a fan, bro. Oh, he got hit. And he's dead. Is there another one? Oh my god, look at him. That guy is stupidly big. Alright. Got bigger. Um, Where is my dash meter? How lo how often I can dash? I need to figure that out. It's kind of often. I would say that... Uh, oh, ho, 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 what a kill. Oh, what a kill. Oh, nice. And that's a currency. Okay, so we are getting gold. And we will be able to spend it somewhere. I guess that's... So, max health increase or another um, another ability. And I feel the ability is always a way to go. If we will be powerful, we will be able to squeeze through everything. Oh, gold. Okay, let's jump right into that. Let's try... Ooh, okay. I would love to kill that guy first. Maybe not possible. Yeah, it is. We good. Oh, we have to dash through the water. Okay. Nice. Of course, we are focusing on this guy. 
Oh, that's that's annoying. Okay. And now we are able to deal with this one kind of pretty easily. All right, what do we have? Do we have a Fae again? Okay, so we can go on money or we can go with except mob. Queen of spiders. Okay, let's go for spiders. What? Oh, she looks awesome. Okay, okay, I like it. So we can go with heavy attack and we will have venom and we will have the spinning attack. So that will be venomous. Or we can do go dash and fire bile at nearby enemies. Okay, or... Your companion is Brute Mother. We can have a companion? What? That's awesome. All right. So now we have a little spider. And we are going... Uh, I think that will be a merchant, right? That will be a trade and we will be able to spend our money. Yeah, we don't have any money. <laughs> what is this? Crystal shards. I feel that's... Uh, yeah, 10 missing. I would go with Ignite, but we don't have that. And this is Max Health. Let's go for Max Health, even though I think this will be meta currency or something like that. Let's go with this just to get as far as possible. So increase our health because I will get hit for sure. When there will be some end, uh, like elite or so. How could I? He... Ah, uh, he is not showing the, the attacks anymore. Is that right? Because that was the... Oh no, I'm dying. Like, certainly like a lot. What the hell? It, it's kind of troublesome, I would say. Those spikes, gosh. Okay. And those th uh, those guys going through those uh, traps and, and uh, locking me out of that. Look at that. Yeah, that, that's something. Alright, so we got something. Fairy Ember. That's what we got. Don't know what it is, but we got half HP. We're not, not in a good position. And Brood Mother or this one is just out there. Okay, we don't have to activate the companion or anything. We're just running around and, and helping. Oh, alright. I think we, we met our demise. I was out. I think I was out. Maybe not. Alright, he will be bumping a lot of damage. What is now? Okay. So he is going for mobs. Ah, this sucks. I feel... Oh, no. And I am dead. I am dead. Death. So I should have. Retrospectively, I should have go for the crystals because maybe I could uh, do something with it now. All right, so we got three currencies on top. You can see uh, those are the fairy things. Those are the shards and potions. I don't know what it is, but we will see right now. So for shards, we can unlock new things on the side. Okay, and we got only one and that's life. So if I'll click it, I will go in and that's a uh, meta progression, I would say. So what do we have? Uh, for potions, we can unlock it. So recover, there's still one health at the beginning of every room. So we can't do anything else. So let's start with that one. What else do we have? Gain 5% chance that room will contain a breakable pot with health. That's kind of cool. When you're revived, return with 10% more health. Start each run with max health. Let's go with this one. Even though I don't think that's that's the best option. And I don't know what are those um, those pixie thingies. I don't know. But let's go. Let's go. Uh, let's go for another. You have completed your first sword. Online play is now available. Okay, so we don't we don't really need that. Okay. Select character. Oh. So we got this guy with the sword. Then we have a guy with a hammer. And then we can, for 20 of shards, we can unlock two more characters. Spectre and Monk. Interesting. So what is the difference? So this guy uh, got Blade Rush. Launch forward slashing all enemies in your path. That's the spell. And he got short sword. But we can unlock a bow, bow staff, chakrams, or we can unlock... So you can s uh, select one spell? Is is that what it is? So now I can go with uh, with this guy, for example, because I have him already on lock, Rook. And we can go with Hammer. Or we can uh, unlock Hand Cannon, Great Sword, and Gauntlets. And then we can unlock more, like, Ball Rush. Counter. Brace of Sound briefly becoming Im um, immune to damage. If you are hit during this time, retaliate. 
or a ball rush. Dash forward, great force knocking back all enemies in your way. Sky drop, launch yourself into the air and crash down on top of your enemies. All commanders, oh we don't have that. Let's go for ball, ball rush and I want to, yeah we can select one of those. Good. Let's go for a Rook, that's a different class, and we will play uh, a bit different weapon as well, right? Okay, so there will be like more uh, more weight behind, and we can go with Whirlwind. Can I... Uh, yeah, I can hold it. And I feel that there is a bigger cooldown on, on my dash. I don't know, maybe that's just... What I, what I think. Oh, Madeline. Welcome back, Squire. I'm sure you have many questions, but there is a little time. The Grail's corruption has spread in wide. We must cleanse it. The every knight and one sworn to defend the kingdom are now downfall. Hope it remains as your reset second chance. I shall do what I can to assist you, Squire. And those are the things that we already went through. Okay, so those are the meta progression. And what is this? This is like another one. Greetings, Charles of Grail. I'm in Nimue, Lady of the Lake and Fabricator of Legendary Armaments. Not the least, the blade you wield, one of my finer works. I don't have a blade, girl. <laughs> May it serve you well, Child of Grail. Yeah. So there will be another another thing in like in the future. And if you haven't noticed, we are playing as an Arturian legend. So uh, yeah, we are in, in that kind of like... Mm, space. So it's true, the Grail has graced us with the second chance. Fisher King. The world has changed since you've gone, Squire. Corruption has spread through the land, even uh, infecting the local wildlife of well, wild something. Take <laughs> heed, Squire. The row ahead will be dangerous. I wish you luck. I'll lend you any aid all bones can muster. Blessing Compendium. Ah, oh, so through this you can see all kinds of things that you will pick. So that is quite a lot. Even though it's not even released, that's just a playtest. And it should be released this year. So, yeah. I'm excited. I love uh, these kind of games that you are going through the rooms and you are just improving yourself, right? With the, with the experience. And then you feel... The, the your improvement how you understand the mobs how you like doing your job properly oh no okay i'm not doing my job properly that's one thing okay we've done it but we lost kind of a lot of hp uh plus interact what do we have we got the beer the frozen witch or we have except you mother of banshees let's go cold chilling touch okay that's interesting the art okay Uncommon. Light attacks is strong and inflict chill. Chilling strike heavy. Inflict chill. Air spell is stronger and inflict chill. Oh, I have not used uh, my my spell yet. No, not even once. This is uncommon. Let's go for for it, and we will get five shards. That will be really really good at um, at the end. Hopefully, the end will come really really after a long time. Let's go and uh, th in this room, first of all, I need to use my spell. That's that's what we need to do. The, that that's that's you know okay my spell is is shield i thought i will be running that i thought that's my 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 thing okay that's interesting maybe i haven't switched okay let's wait no one more time one more time okay come on come on come on come on Okay, so I haven't switched. I think I have. Uh, I have uh, still the the first uh, first spell. Yeah, 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 yeah. I haven't switched it. So that that will be something to learn. Okay, twenty for what? You peer into orb and see twenty of fairy thingies. It seems like you could almost reach it to grab it. Okay, let's go. And that will be yeah, yeah. I thought that will be something like that. Okay. Oh! Okay, one more. Hit. Ooh, I wanted to go for a spell. Yeah, exactly. Someone else? I haven't seen him. I haven't seen him through the, the thing. That was unfortunate. So I lost a lot of HP, but this is the similar to Hades, right? Where you have those throws and you can go through those. Yeah, that's fine. Some Evans. Okay, what do we have? There's some kind of shop. All right, we've done it. This one is 
throwing. Okay, that was beautiful. I was like, ooh! Oh, it returned back! Oh no, it haven't. That's just a different mob. Yeah, I need to use my, my spells better. Okay, so we can go for gold or we can go with uh, Frozen Witch. Let's go Frozen Witch because we get one, so we have another one. Your dash will make a Frost Nova. When enemy has more than five stacks of chill, they take damage over time. That's nice, but I don't feel that I am um, placing on them a lot of uh, like chill because we got really, really slow attack. Attack does inflict chill, also build a Frostbite. That's kind of cool, but I feel that I will I will go with um, I will increase this secret shop. What do we have? You can reduce damage from enemies. Yeah, and that's that's just for several chambers. Got it. So let's go for money. Uh, yeah, reach in. Oh no! I just went right into that that attack. Ugh. That was, that was horrendous. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The timing on, on this hero, I don't have it. So I should have go for a little bit more of those, um, the first guy and use the ability. Okay, 82. I'm glad. What is this? Don't know, but let's go there. There is money and, oh, we got only 13 HP. I didn't think this one will go well as well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, let's let's focus. Okay, that was good hit, and also from uh, from the trap, good. One down, several several others to go. Oh, he missed. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, one thing that I would love to see uh, changed maybe or added or at least have the possibility to have my cooldowns on on uh, above me, for example. Just to be able to watch my character and nothing else and I don't have to go and watch down there. Because back then I, I used my dash to, to uh, get out of his attack, right? Just because I didn't know if I have my ability on or not. So some indication of that, yeah, there is like indication that you will get it. So maybe, maybe it's just getting used to. But still, I would love to have that option to have like circle under me or uh, uh, above me or something like that. Just to toggle on and off. I think that would be really nice. Blessing level reward. And now we can level it up. Okay. So let's go with this one. Just to have more damage from it. And this is kind of interesting. We will get ability and we will get something else. Hopefully. Is that like... Okay, so... Destroy the crystals quickly. What? What crystals? Uh, Destroy the crystals quickly. Oh, there are. I was still in reach of that. God damn it. Okay. I just don't care about those, right? Oh, I should maybe. Destroy the crystals quickly. I think that's we are done. I can't see anything, so yeah. <laughs> So, <clears throat> okay, we got 27 of those and I feel that we can't really use those for anything. I don't know, ex yeah, those are for, uh, uh, yeah, you can give it a try yourself. I already trying that. So, you know what, let's go back to this guy, just try him out and I will check out. I'm not sure that I want to go with anything else. Maybe bow stuff. Graceful weapon designer for most of the material artists. Let's go with the sword and let me check what we have. Lunge forward, slashing enemies in your path. I like that. Drop a mine, no. Flip backwards and throw a fun of nice and daggers. Teleport behind enemy and attack. Shadow strike is also cool. But we will go with the, with the basic stuff. I have not used the spell at all. So let's try this one. 
Yeah, we can talk to the NPCs uh, in in uh, in the way of of Hades, and maybe we'll get some some background information and lore. What's going on? Why is this in 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 the state that we are in? Like you know, uh, that's what it is. I would say the inspiration is there, but that's not not a bad thing. I think because. Yeah, the, the, the Hades was really inspirational. I changed a lot of games for the better, I would say. Like, I think the, the Hades was, like, first uh, first roguelike that, that really changed the sca scope for, for uh, like, normal common people that are not really into indie games and not really check out that, that, that uh, Hades, like, crushed that boundary. And a lot of people from abroad, they were like, hey, Hades, roguelike, what? I will die. I, I, die. I can't continue forward. I have to go from, from the start. And it was cool. I, I really enjoy that that um, it done what it done. So let's go for a King of Fey. Take your throne, strike with fury and wind. Okay. Successfully so like increase your damage on fury attacks. Okay. Your spells give you fury. Let's go with common, and we will start with the with the light attacks. Okay. Okay. And we will get meta progression. That's good. Hopefully, I will be able to get out of this room. Oh, no. Alright, he's jumping around. Let's chase him a little bit. Good. Cool. Okay, and delete him. That was easy. Okay, plus 10. We are rolling in the money. Let's go for another spell. So as I said, this everything what you see can be played, and also you can play with your friends. So it could be like four. Holy moly! It could be like four people uh, at one pl at this stage and cross uh, killing enemies. I think that's exciting. Ah uh, shit! Ew. Oh no! I got hit. Unfortunate. I use my dash and yeah. Blessing level up or we can go for another Oberon. Let's go Oberon. I really liking to go into this like fury kind of thing because we are slashing really fast. So I think that would be good. Your spells give you fury on hit. When you reach max stacks of fury, lose all of that stacks to temporarily gain, gain flow. For a short time, your attacks deal significant flat bonus damage. Mm -hmm. This one is also good. Yeah, let's go, let's go live in fury because if I'll dash around and I will not be able to approach to to slash enemies uh, at some point, this will help me just to just to uh, get it. So let's go. Yeah, I thought I will kill him there. Unfortunate. Ooh, that was a bomb. Okay, we got it. Nice. How many? 14. But we are 29 out of 50. So we can go uh, to level up one of our attacks. That will be for sure the light attack. Hopefully. There will be a possibility to level it up. Okay. We are going through those. Easy. Yep. Alright. Alright. Another one. Yeah, there are, there are quite a lot of them. But we good. Can I go through? No. That's good to know. That's good to know that I can't dash through the water. Uh, yeah. This will increase a lot, but you know what? 3%. We need the damage. Meta progression. Uh, like, it's, it's a bad decision, I would say. <laughs> if that would be the, um, uh, the potions. Sure. Oh, I was stuck. Oh, I'm glad that I haven't been punished. I wanted to go for the dash and go through, but that haven't happened. Okay, he got stuck there as well, so I'm glad that I'm not the only one. Okay. 13, and we are going for another spell. I feel that's a good, good, good thing. All right. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got that hit. Oh, those, those, th uh, those people are really bore bothersome. Holy moly. 
Nah, I went right into that. So bad. So goddamn bad. What do we have? We got um, Queen of Spiders and we got Frozen Witch. Let's go Frozen. Companion. Legendary. Like, how can I not take Legendary? So now we can go to the shop. <laughs> That's useless because I got 20 gold. So we are going for the gold. And I got how much HP do I have? 11. Oh no. That was like the meta progression saved me right there. <laughs> that's that's something. Yeah. I don't know if we are able to survive for longest time with this. There is a shop where you could heal, right? Movement speed, curse reduction, bonus damage. None of those. What can we get? Yeah, I'm certainly going this way. But I would love to remove some of your curse. There's some kind of like curse mechanic. I don't have that. You have additional mana charge. Maybe that could be nice. You'll spell them and deal more damage. You move faster. I like this and I like uh, bonus damage of the spells. But I don't have for both. So you know what? Let's go this this. I think I will ne never reach anything like more than this. So you know what? Let's try it out at least to survive this 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 um this thing. That would be awesome if I would be able to do that. Oh, oh that's how it goes. That's a big boy right there. And he is summoning more more enemies. Beautiful. Oh no. Oh, 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 we made it. Oh, shit. We got him. And now we die. <laughs> we got 20. Simmering cocoon. You came across the cocoon unlike you any, any seen before. Eternal silk, silk drapes from it glittering with all the worldly radiance. Locked. Requires 20 health. Okay, so we can't do that. Locked. Requires blessing. Okay. Consume. We will heal for 20. You focus your mind on energy cocoon and you feel through your are being warmed by the sun. After a few moments, the feeling subsides and you are feeling refreshed. Okay, good. And that was interesting kind of thing that I never seen. That if you have the, the poison queen or, or um, uh, the moon symbol in your roster, you are able to interact with it a different way. That's kind of interesting. I like that. And we are going back to the boss. Hmm. This will be, I think. Oh, that's a different boss. Okay, that's, that's interesting that they are like, I got hit immediately. Uh-huh. Oh. Oh, he is going three times. I got one health. I know that. I know that. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I'm not running faster than uh, than, the, than the lights. Yeah, that was, uh, that was miserable. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, can we unlock just to see? No, we got 19. So we have to go with health more. So what do we have? Start each run max health or we can restore our health at the beginning of a room. I feel let's go with the recovery. Restoration potency gain 5% chance that room will contain breakable pot. You know what? Now let's go here. And we can go with another one immediately. And now we have only 5. So we can go when you revive. Revive return with 10 max when you revived. And when you revived. Okay, so I think those are good for a cop, but not for a solo player. Which is kind of interesting, because... It's interesting that it make it, like, different. It's a good and bad thing. It's not like, for example, if you had, like, one one reset, right? That uh, that if you die, you will revive yourself. Just just that that's it. And when you're playing multiplayer, you got same revive, and one of the companions can die and revive. For example, to have the same thing going on, but you share. I don't know, but uh, I don't know what else they added to enhance the the, the enhance the play, uh, re no replayability but um the core thing when you playing co-op if this is the more enemies they are stronger what is the deal that you are going for more uh more players yeah that's interesting or maybe you only one of you can uh, get the boon 
who knows how that goes. But as you can see, there are more characters and there will be the thing that all characters will have four weapons, four spells. So you can really go with a different kind of build. I can unlock the, the staff right now and go with Shadow Strike and you, you will be able to go with a different kind of like... Yeah, look at that. I'm just slashing and now I can jump and do AoE, which is interesting. So all of the characters will have... Um, yeah, different kind of playstyle, and you will be able to go around and, and really find what you like the most and, and do that. Yeah, and you dash around. Yeah, that's really nice. So, so far, I'm excited to see what this game will pull out more. This is the playtest, as I said at the beginning. You can go and you can play it yourself. Its main name of the game is Sorn. Uh, you can go ahead to the description and you can use the link. It will get you to the uh, website and you can uh, just access, um, just ask for the key. They will give it you instantly. And you can... Uh, Play it till 24th of um, March. If you're seeing this later, yeah, unfortunately, you can just wishlist it on the Steam and wait for another uh, playtest or maybe beta. I don't know what will happen in the future. But yeah, uh, I'm excited to see. I am certainly will wishlist it because it's fun. It's really good. It's fluid. The combat is nice. Some of the uh, angles or some of the things that I was stuck uh, on. That was kind of like, uh, that's not feel good, but it's again something that you will learn uh, through the experience you, you're getting, right? You will learn that this, this angle, you have to do this and this to uh, avoid the mistake, for example. But it was really cool that the boar was stuck on the on the same thing uh, as me. So I was like, yeah, that's 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 fair. That's fair. They are not cheating. They're <laughs> stuck on the thing as, uh, as well as me. So yeah. But this is it. This is Sorn. If you enjoyed, give me a like, give me a comment. I don't know. Or um, I'm glad that you reached this point in the video. And yeah, meanwhile, you can click on the videos above me if you want to check out more content. Or you can wait for another day or another time and I will bring you something entirely new. So that's it for me. Thank you. And I will see you next time. Peace.